Several attempts to chart Matol have been made, but none have been successful. By normal standards, a small rock planet, Matol has a dense atmosphere composed of carbon dioxide and argon with a surprising amount of water vapor. Fogs and rain are common on the barren, lifeless surface. Matol is pleasant enough to be considered a terraforming prospect, though its low mass and the high radiation of the energetic blue star Herschel place it fairly far down on the list. And finally, we have uh, Klobaka. Lobaka is a moderately sized terrestrial world with a hazy hydrocarbon atmosphere. Its surface is mainly composed of chlorides with deposits of solid and liquid form hydrocarbons. No scanning at all in this entire place. So let's go to the Fideli here, or the Fidel, whatever it is. The Fidel is a Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design. In addition to the standard cargo bay, the hull has several biological research modules attached. Registry is private owner Dr. R. Hart. Ha, 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 wow. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot that he was going under the name Hart. All right, my friend. We're going in. Everyone make sure you've got the proper weapons. Let's do this. Wasn't anything good in this room, right? Okay. Okay, this place looks like a nice maze. Finally some action. Quiet, Garrus. Whoa! Back off! We need to move! We need to move! Uh, this is a bad situation. Let's go ahead and do this. And, um, Tally is in a bad way right now. Can I switch to this, please? <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, um, do you have... You're already using that, it looks like. Kill all these test subjects. Whoa. I don't think I'm doing any damage to this guy right now. There we go, I had it for a second there. All right, that was certainly dangerous. We've got a striker sniper rifle for that. Nothing particularly important. All of this stuff is uh, low level compared to what Garrus already has. Shotgun wise, we've got a 194, wow. It's actually pretty far up there, but uh, not as good as our stuff. Might be good for uh, our friend back at home. I think Garrus has a 195, so I don't think any of these are going to match up. You guys okay? All good? I think we're about as alive as we're going to be. <laughs> that was a little bit overwhelming on the storm there. Shotgun definitely is not particularly... Uh, helpful when they're that up in your face and basically dying on you on purpose to do damage. That's just dangerous. You know, 
on, let's switch to this. That way I can blow these up from far away. Just want to make sure that uh, they're out of the way so I can see any containers that are worth going after. Nothing. Well, that was uh, entirely crappy. I suppose putting um, one of the health things on Garrus would be good in multiple ways because that should give him toxic resistance as well. And these guys, I'm pretty sure, are toxic. So it's good to have that on currently. Okay, so that can open. I don't know which one of these things would advance. Thank you. Thank you for saving nope, me nope, from nope, those nope. things. All right, so that was not the way I wanted to go. Let's go in here instead. Let's see what we've got going. Nothing. I guess uh, I should have just gone with it. There's nothing in here. All right, fine. Let's go to uh, this area over here again. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart! Dr. Hart! Please, get me out of here! You certain about this, Garrus? Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me! Back down, Garrus. We'll take him in, drop him off at the military. But we have him! We can't let him get away. Not again. Think, Garrus. If he dies, we'll never know what he's been up to, or how he did it. We'll take him in, interrogate him, and he'll serve his time. I... Okay. You're right. You're a very lucky Salarian. You owe the commander your life. Oh, thank you so very much. Hostile contact! Oh. So he dies anyway. What was the point of that? You can't predict how people will act, Garrus, but you can control how you'll respond. In the end, that's what really matters. Yeah. I don't think I ever met anyone like you, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. Salian's medical equipment is stained with the blood of many species, pale blue, violet, orange, and more than a few dark red. But his work has ended here. Time to head back to the Normandy. I think there was something that popped up, and I responded to it, but I don't know what I responded to it with. Alright, some rounds, some grenade upgrades. Wetware kit, nice. Polaris and a Solaris. Might be good stuff. Let's, uh, let's see here. Does anyone need health? Doesn't look like it, so I guess we'll just decrypt this right away. And in we go. Some Phoenix armor. It seems like this stuff usually has Phoenix armor in it, which is interesting. It's like that's maybe health armor or something. But I uh, don't really need any of that stuff, so that will be sold for sure. This is going to be a tough one to get into, but we did it. Thunder assault rifle, lots of assault rifles, and a sniper rifle. Oh, seriously? Nice. I wonder if I can even come back here. I might not be able to. That blows. This may be a locker that never uh, never gets opened at this rate. <laughs> we didn't level up, so I can't really do anything about that. Not that we would have been close enough anyway. All right, well, whatever. I can't do anything there. Pooh. That blues. Um, let's check to see if there's anything here to upgrade us. 
Oh wow, that's another uh, of the same thunder. Definitely will hand that over to our favorite friend back on the ship. Let's see, shotguns, the firestorm is uh, pretty high up there. Hmm. So that would be a little bit extra accuracy and a little bit uh, extra shots before overheat. But we'd be losing almost 50 damage, so it's not worthwhile. Or we would be losing 50 damage. That's just not at all worthwhile. Okay, well, whatever. Um, pistol that I don't need. Sniper rifles. Anything good? New. Okay, well. Nothing worth anything here. All right, well, I'll write this down and hope for the best. Okay, got that written down. Uh, in the meantime, while I was writing this down, I uh, wanted to look up about uh, our minions only getting one point because I seem to uh, remember that. And uh, I did remember it, but not the way that uh, I should have remembered it because I was like, I think that's a glitch or something. But no, it's actually something that's meant to be happening. Uh, apparently, the higher the level of your companions, um, the less points that they're actually going to learn. Now, uh, the other thing that uh, I noticed while I was looking this up is that the uh, DLCs for this game, which are uh, Bring Down the Sky and Pinnacle Station, aren't actually included by default. Um, so I have remedied that for Bring Down the Sky uh, because there is an installer out there. I will go ahead and put that installer uh, down in the, uh, the links for this video. I'm also going to be putting some new voting stuff because we're actually getting very close to a point where voting on other things is going to be important. Um, so make sure that you go down there and vote for those things. I'm also going to be putting something down there in regard to uh, how to get the Pinnacle Station DLC if you're on the Steam version. If you're using the Origin version, you will not need to do that for the Pinnacle uh, DLC, but you will still need to do it uh, for the Bring Down the Sky DLC. So I've got both of those things in there, and both of them are important for different reasons. Um, yeah, so stuff. <laughs> Much stuff has happened while we were away for a little amount of time. Um, this definitely looks like it's technically a better weapon. I think we're going to switch Rex over to this. But yeah, definitely look down below because there are new votes right now because uh, I'm fairly certain we are going to come across uh, what's going to make it so that we don't um, we don't really need to vote on what's been voted on Looking for, for quite a long time now. Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. But yeah, while I was doing all that talk, I was getting over here so I can sell all the stuff that we uh, have picked up recently, because we definitely do not need any of this stuff to be around, and it's going to probably push us pretty close to uh, being able to start buying some stuff. We shall see. I don't think we're going to quite make it up there, but you know, eventually. We do not need heavy human armor, sniper rifles, shotguns, assault rifles, lots of stuff. I think I remember not wanting to uh, have the duelist armor so let's check that out real quick yeah there was a difference uh, in the fact that it was somewhat better but meh all right let's see what else do we have going we do not need light Turian armor or light human armor I suppose it might be better than ours wow it's actually uh, fairly close to being like ours even though it's light armor Surprising. Don't need these. Let's see here. Uh, cryo rounds times two. These do some shield bypass and less accuracy. So that's all that cryo rounds do? I thought these uh, capable of snap freezing impacted objects. Okay, so they're they're better than. Uh, 
they sound just on the shield bypass and the max accuracy. All right, um, let's see here. I do not need two incendiary explosives because that's not going to get us anywhere. Am I just doubling up on all the explosives now? Jeez. Don't need all of that stuff. Okay, a couple of sniper rifles to get rid of. And I think that about does it. I think the rest of this stuff is uh, not so important to me. Let's see, I was keeping that. Shredder rounds are for organics. Do I have any other shredder rounds that are lower? Yes, I do. I do not want those. Polonium rounds I will keep it because uh, toxic damage over time is just, it's amazing, really. <laughs> Honestly, I should probably just equip all of my weaponry with toxic damage because it's, uh, it's usually what I end up with at the end game just because it's that good. What is that? blinky stuff in the background. I have no idea. It's weird. And I think that about does it for me right now. Don't think there's anything else that I want to uh, switch out currently. But yeah, we will not be doing the uh, Bring Down the Sky DLC immediately, mainly because uh, I want to actually wait for us to at least get to level 50. And there's a very good reason for that. Uh, you get better rewards if you wait until you're level 50. Commander, I wanted to thank you. Sure. Before, Garrus, Thanks. For everything. I've thought a lot, and I've been thinking about Dr. Oh, Saleon too. This is new. I convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Yeah? Is that it? Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. That's great, Garrus. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. All right, so we got a codex entry. I was not expecting uh, that to be different. I should have expected it to be different because we just were on uh, the Dr. Hart mission. <laughs> Anyways, we've got something about Turian religion now. Although Turians have a strict moral code, their belief in individual responsibility means that the concepts of good and evil are simply the individual's choice between egotism and altruism in any given decision. They have no concept of good deities that encourage noble behavior or evil ones that tempt individuals to misdeeds. Turians believe that groups and areas have spirits that transcend the individual. For example, a military unit would be considered to have a literal spirit that embodies the honor and courage it has displayed. A city's spirit reflects the accomplishments and industry of its residents. An ancient tree's spirit reflects the beauty and tranquility of the area that it grows within. These spirits are neither good nor evil, nor are they appealed to for intercision. Turians do not believe spirits can affect the world, but spirits can inspire the living. Prayers and rituals allow an individual to converse with a spirit for guidance or inspiration. For example, a Turian who finds his loyalty tested may appeal to the spirit of his unit, hoping to reconnect with the pride and honor of the group. A Turian who wishes to create a work of art may attempt to connect with the spirit of a beautiful location. Turians enjoy absolute freedom of religion and can practice wherever, uh, whatever appeals to them, so long as it does not impede anyone's ability to perform their duties. There are many practitioners of the Asari Siarist philosophy. Since opening dialogue with the Human Systems Alliance, some Turians have embraced Confucianism as well as Zen Buddhism. 